Getty President Rouhani of Iran and Turkey's President Erdogan are on different sides of the Syria war. Last month, Turkey launched the Operation Olive Branch, air and ground campaign against the Kurdish YPG militia in the northern region of Afrin. Bahrain Qasemi, Iran's foreign ministry spokesman, said, Turkey should stop its operation and respect Syria's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Turkey's actions can bring back insecurity, instability and terrorism to Syria. Mr. Qasemi said any solution to the crisis should be discussed in talks in the Kazakh capital Astana, that is sponsored by Russia, Iran and Turkey. He said Iran is in continuous talks with both Turkey and Russia about the latest developments in Syria. Russia and Iran both back Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, while Turkey supports those fighting against the dictator who is accused of killing his own people. Turkey considers the Kurdish YPG, which is backed by the US, to be a terrorist group and an extension of the Kurdistan Workers' Party PKK. The PKK has fought an insurgency in Turkey's largely Kurdish southeast since 1984. Getty Turkish artillery can be seen during Operation Olive Branch targeting Kurdish forces in Afrin Epis soldiers be seen walking over the wreckage of a crashed Russian fighter jet in Idlib. The Syrian government has called the offensive in Afrin an illegal aggression. Iran's ultimatum came as Turkey's army said it had set up a military post southwest of the Syrian city of Aleppo today. It marks the deepest position they have established so far inside northwest Syria, and is part of a deal with Russia and Iran aimed at reducing violence there. Turkey agreed to set up 12 observation posts in Idlib and neighboring provinces under the agreement. Monday, March 13, 2017 Still image shows Russian Bastion coastal missile launchers launching Onyx missiles at unknown location in Syria The three countries struck a deal to try to stop pro-government forces and Islamist insurgents from fighting in the region, but the efforts have failed. A Russian pilot blew himself up with a grenade after his fighter jet was shot down and crashed in the Idlib province on Saturday, Russia's defense ministry has confirmed. Major Roman Filipov ejected from the plane and fought with rebels before killing himself as they closed in on him. In December, the Syrian army, Iranian-backed militias and heavy Russian air power launched an offensive to take territory in Idlib. The Syrian civil war, now entering its eighth year, has killed hundreds of thousands of people and driven more than 11 million from their homes. Idlib is now one of the last main strongholds of rebels opposed to President Bashar al-Assad, after Russia joined the war on the side of Assad's government in 2015.